All right, welcome everybody. I'm here with Oscar in the studio, and uh, this is all about. We're actually in the Law Abiding Biker Studio here, where we record all our weekly podcasts. Make sure you check that out, that out if you haven't. Um, we do some videos up here, Stu, and then up here, and then uh, we also do videos, of course, down in the Law Abiding Biker Garage. But today is all about the Dino Jet Power Vision. And uh, Oscar, welcome. Thanks for being with me, buddy. What's happening? All right, so we've got the video out now. It is for release, and uh, it is everything a biker needs to know about the Dino Jet Power Vision electronic fuel injection uh, unit. Uh, so to speak. Um, we're kind of going to give you guys an insight into what this video is about, what it isn't about, and what you're going to learn from it, what you can learn from it, and uh, kind of the angle uh, that we came at it at. Um, fair enough? Fair enough. All right. So let's get right down into business, buddy. So what I guess we saw a need, right? Did you see a need? Uh, there's a lot of EFI tuners, electronic fuel injection tuners out on the market. There's right. a lot of videos. Give me your insight into what we found because we're always... We, we create uh, videos by bikers for bikers. We want to do it from a biker standpoint. And uh, we know we have the ability because we're bikers to break it down and teach bikers out there to do the same exact things we're doing right in their very own shop or garage. And we saw a need for this, didn't we? Absolutely. There's so many tuners out there and God bless the companies that are making this for us. But a lot of the instruction manuals and a lot of the videos that are out there are made by engineers and tuners and guys that are beyond uh, their technology is beyond the common biker. And so when I started researching a lot of the stuff, I'm like, wow, I, I don't, I had to spend so much time putting stuff together and, and from different sources to just figure it out for myself. I thought there's got to be an easier way to take this product and show it to everyone else in a way that guys like me can understand. Right. Well said. And we all know, um, I do want to give props to Chris Kelly at Dino Jet Research, who, uh, you know, is an employee there and he's worked with us, um, got us the unit right. and uh, all that. And we've been on the phone with him and right. uh, we do appreciate Dino Jet stepping up to the plate. But again, not talking bad about them, but that's all these guys do. Right. And what we found is from those videos and the stuff that they do, it lacks a lot because they're so ahead of the curve it's hard for them to teach the average biker that is riding his bike every day and he's a Harley owner or a Victory or whatever bike it may be to just go, what in the hell am I going to use this thing for? Right. What is this EFI? Do I need it? Do I need to do it? And if I do get it, how does it relate to me? Because I don't have a dynamometer in my garage. I don't right. have years of experience in, in fuel cell and all this kind of stuff. And, and it can just get extremely overwhelming, even for me to a certain extent. I know a bit more about it than the average biker because, of course, you and I will say Oscar has, has years of experience dealing with these, um, not only the Power Vision, but other units. And I will tell you guys, make sure you're constantly checking lawabidingbiker.com. There's a search bar. We've done the Power Commander 5, the Auto Tuner. We've done podcast episodes on it. We've done videos. We have four purchase videos. We're going to do another uh, Fuel Pack 3 from Vance and Hines soon. We're working with them and they have one. So keep checking back. This though is just about the the power vision and Oscar. I will tell you guys, has spent hundreds and hundreds of hours um, breaking things down for you guys uh, to put it in a nice, neat little video package. And again, because he's done that and he's a biker and he's not uh, some engineer, uh, he can tell you guys this is how it's going to work for you as a biker and everyday biker. And here's what you can use it for. Here's what you wouldn't want to use it for, and so forth. So. We're kind of going to break that down. Right. All right. So the, let's talk specifically. That's what this video is about. And if you guys want to get the video at any time, lawabidingbiker.com slash power vision. It's that simple. All right. That's where the video is going to live. And you can, uh, it's a for purchase video. Of course, 95% of our content is free here at Law Abiding Biker Media, the podcast, the YouTube channel. We do have a few for sale videos, high end. And that's uh, for obvious reasons. We got to keep this thing going for the biker right. community. So the power vision, somebody listening right now, watching this video, listening to us, why would they get a power? Why would they get a dyno jet power vision? We're not going to compare it to any other models right. on the market. Just the power vision alone. What, what would be the purpose of this? I really like the fact that dyno jet created a product that I can interact with from my handlebar on a trip, on a ride, anytime I want. And I don't have to touch a laptop and it's, it's for what I'm going to do with it. Uh, the basic common biker, it's pretty straightforward. And it allows a lot of flexibility. And for um, 
the intermediate or advanced user, the, that thing can do a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I'm really impressed with the product and I'm really, um, there's some really nice touches that DinoJet included in there um, for the advanced user. And I don't consider myself being an advanced user. I'm maybe more intermediate, but really it's aimed at the, the common biker, the, the guys that's riding, the guys that are riding around every day that want to be able to interact with their bike and kind of monitor some systems and maybe flash a new map if they find one, um, or maybe make some basic adjustments. It really does all that stuff. So sitting here, somebody's watching the video out there, an audience member, and they're like, what the frick is an EFI tuner in the first place? And do I need it? So I know we've done a whole podcast episode on this. And if you guys go to our website, you can find that. But briefly, I buy a Harley. What I buy a Harley and I throw a a new intake. Everybody wants to put pipes and intake. Right. Why do I need an EFI tuner? Can I just get it flashed at the Harley dealership? Can I just get my electronic control module, engine control module flashed at the dealership? Why do I need a power vision? You could. And you could ride it like that forever and it would be just fine. The um, And what we're talking about for the audience is you get pipes, you get uh, uh, in, air, air intake, you got to right. flash your ECM, your EFI, um, you got to flash your your engine control module right. that's already on your bike. Right. And it's a canned map, which means it basically says, well, this is close to your pipes and this is close to your intake. So we're going to give you a basic can map. Here you go. Right. And right on. And it's not the best map, but it'll work. You could do that. It's expensive. We you suggest could. not doing it because if you ever want to change anything in the future or you do want to tune your bike up a little more, more you're going to have to pay Hardy Davidson another $200 plus dollars every time you change a pipe, every time you change an intake. So we tell the community, I am avid against it now. Stay away from the Harley downloads. We love Harley Davidson, but it's, it's ridiculous. Spend the money on an aftermarket EFI tuner, such as the power vision, give yourself room to grow. Exactly. That is exactly it. I couldn't put it any better room to grow. Okay, good. So, um, that's what you would use it for guys. If you're going to change your, your intake, your, your, uh, exhaust, um, if you want to get better fuel, fuel mileage, maybe a little bit more horsepower, stuff like that. That's where what these electronic fuel injection aftermarket units are for. This one has a display module, right. which mounts to the handlebar. We've got a very good mounting solution in the video for that, but it's touchscreen. So go, go with that about what we're going to teach in this particular video. We're going to walk you guys through what, um, I guess I came from the standpoint of what do I want to do with this thing? Cause I consider myself a common biker. So we're going to walk you through the basics. First of all, setup. We're going to, we're going to walk you through actually wiring in, in this particular video, we're using an auto tune setup with the wideband O2 sensors. So we're going to walk you through setting up and installing the wideband O2 sensors. And with uh, that wideband, I'm going to interrupt you for a minute just yep, so we stay uh, with the audience. Your Hardy Davidson guys, you know, uh, we're talking about Hardy Davidson because that's what we did the video on, but really it can work for any bike, but it, the Hardy specifically comes with narrow band O2 sensors. There are little sensors that screw into your pipes. Your bike comes stock with that. That's a way that the bike can read what that the bike reads what's coming in as far as air and fuel. And it also reads what's going out. So it measures the, which is your AFR, right? Air fuel rate. No. uh, Well, it, the bike reads the amount of air coming in and adjusts the fuel and timing accordingly. According to the map, the map is the predetermined um, conditions under which the bike is running. The O2 sensors then read um, the exhaust stream to determine whether or not the um, air fuel ratio has too much fuel or not enough. And then it makes it tells the ECM, the engine control module, hey, there's not enough fuel, or there's too much. Reduce it or increase it. Narrowband O2 sensors have a literally narrow uh, or narrower um, ratio that they can read. Usually it's like 14.0 to 14.7, somewhere in that market. The um, broadband or the um, the larger O2 sensors can read an even broader range, 13.0 to 15.2. So anytime with the narrow band, anytime the air fuel mixture falls outside of 14.0 to 14.7, the bike doesn't know what to do. That's, that's a very basic way to put it, but it's the the easiest way for me to understand it. Sure. Sure. The bike falls back to the map that Harley programmed it with the, um, uh, bigger O2 sensors, the wide band, the wide band. I I kept thinking broadband. I'm like broadband. That's a like internet. (laughs) 
um, with the wide band O2 sensors, it, because it can read such a, a broader band of um, air fuel ratio, it can consistently and constantly make adjustments outside that. So the bike's not stuck with any one map. It can continue to adjust, adding and taking fuel away. Okay. So we're going to show you how to install the um, wideband O2 sensors. Does the Power Vision come with the wideband O2 sensors it could. out of the box? It does not. It okay. does not. It's, can you it's use it with a narrow band? You could. Yes, okay. you could. And um, in the video, you'll see us uh, actually show you which one to pick. If you have a stock bike with stock heads or completely stock exhaust, you could use the dyno, um, you could use the auto tune function with the um, basic, which is the narrow band 12 millimeter O2 sensors. If you have aftermarket exhaust with the um, wide band O2 sensors installed or the bungs, which the O2 sensors screw into, you could use the Pro, the AutoTune Pro. Right. So we're going to show you in the video how to do that stuff. We're going to show you how to set up the um, Power so, Vision, how to power it. Right. So we take it out of the box right in the we're video. We're going to take it out of the box for you. We're going to actually show you how to mount it. That was one of the challenges I found is there's these mounting systems, but I, I couldn't see how they worked. I couldn't see how they were set up, how someone put them on. I mean, I, I can conceptualize some of this stuff, but I also like to really see it. Absolutely. So we're going to show you exactly how the mounting system works for this one. Yep. Um, and it's actually the mounting system that DinoJet recommends for the Power Vision. Correct. And we carry it now right in our yep, Law Abiding yep. Biker store. It's called the Biker yep. Gripper. Yep. We and, carry it now. Uh, yeah, we carry it. So you can head over to the Law Abiding Biker store. We do have that for cell phones, GPS, EFI tuners, all kinds of stuff. So we get it out of the box. Hook it up to a laptop, right? First thing we're going to do is show you how to update the firmware, which turned out to be a little bit bigger of a pain than I thought it would be. Not, it, but it won't be a pain for them because it, which is we it, figured it all out and exactly how to do it with no headaches, right? It's which is exactly the point of this video. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Who, true. What biker wants to update firmware? But yeah. you need to. It's a great product. It's just one of the nuances with this product. We're going to show you how to update the firmware. We're going to show you some of the little nuances that came with updating the firmware. And then from there, we're going to install everything. We're going to show you how to mount everything. And then we're going to fire it up and show you how to load a map. We're going to show you how to auto tune. We're going to show you how to set up gauges. I really, the gauges are a nice touch. I really like them. And I have six or seven different screens set up with different gauges. The gauges on the actual power vision. On the unit. actual power vision themselves. It's got an LCD screen. So I can watch my engine temperature. I can watch um, Spark Advance. There's all kinds of cool stuff. That's a nice touch. For me, that's a nice touch because I'm kind of a data geek. I like to see that stuff. I like to see where my bike's running. I like to see um, what the FRs are. For those advanced users, being able to see what, and, and I'm going to tell you, if you know what map is, now not the, not the electronic fuel map, but if you know what map stands for, then you're probably an intermediate to advanced user. If you know what um, VE stands for and why it's important, you're probably an advanced user or at least an intermediate to advanced user. Mm -hmm. So the Power Vision for the advanced user allows you to data log so much cool stuff that you can use to go back later if you know what you're doing and create your own custom fuel maps. Never pay anyone, uh, never pay a dyno tuner, never spend time in a shop with a laptop and with the Power Vision, you can data log and go back and create your own custom maps for the area you ride in, the, the temperatures you ride in, and the conditions you ride in. This video is not going to show you how to do that. That's complicated. When we That's start. not the average biker. That is not the average biker. That's probably 1% of the bikers out there. Thank That's you. That's not me. I've played around with it a little bit enough, but I know enough to know where I can and can't do damage. If you start playing around with timing and you or you lean out or... Really, if you lean out the air fuel ratio too much or you advance timing too far, you can actually do some serious damage to your motorcycle. The knowledge that it takes, the knowledge that these dinos guys that dino tune have take years and years to get. I've been reading about this stuff now for, it seems like forever, and I'm getting what I consider an intermediate grasp, meaning... I'm going to start data logging. I'm going to start looking at some of this stuff and I'm probably going to start over the course of the next year or two making my own custom maps for myself. I, I'm not anywhere near and we're not anywhere near being able to teach people how to do that. It's just a, it's a, it's an art and it's a skill and it's also science. And if, yeah. And again, 1% of, and that's, they're not going to need the video. They're not going to need the video because right. they're going to figure out how to install it themselves. Exactly. So if you, so, um, I, 
I, we pulled a lot of resources putting this video together so that you wouldn't have to. So, but you, there you go. Well said. We put it together yeah, right so the average biker could use it and, and, and go to uh, one spot. Thank you. And not watch other videos and not read. I read three or four different manuals. I read uh, forums. I watched videos, all the pool, it all together. So um, you'll be able to buy the Power Vision and use it, install it, and use it for what all the intents and purposes guys like you and I would do. Yep. If you think that we're going to teach you how to build the custom maps and uh, be a dyno tuner, don't buy the video. You wouldn't want to buy it. Yeah, you don't want to buy the video. Because you're, yeah, you're way beyond that. Right. You're already too, you've been to school. You, yeah, I mean, this stuff can get crazy. It can get really complicated. And I've talked to a few people um, kind of about the theory behind it. And I've watched some videos about the theory behind it. And it makes my brain hurt. Those guys like Chris Kelly, they can make Right. That's the, the their specialty. The, yeah. I, yeah. I have tremendous respect for how intelligent those guys are because man, there's a lot of physics involved. There's a lot of math involved. I, and, and those guys get it. They get it. Just, it comes right to them. It doesn't come to me like that. So don't buy the video. We're not going to teach you how to build custom maps. We're going to show you how to take the power vision out of the box. We're going to show you how to update the firmware on a PC real quick. Let me stop oh, yeah, you. Right, so right. let's go step by step out of the box. We're going to show you how to hook it up. And we're taking away all the headaches because there can be headaches there on was, updating the firmware and installing the software. It's PC only, guys. I will tell you right now, DinoJet needs to figure that out. Yeah, it's ridiculous because you see in the studio, all I have is Macs. Right. And and that's ridiculous to only have PC support. But right. I'm sure they've got engineers working on it because yeah. tons of us have Macs. But it is PC only right now. So if you have a PC laptop or a PC desktop, we hook it up. We get you through the headaches. It's And the... The video is very concise, exactly step by step from bikers here. Right. And let me tell you, Oscar is not a huge computer, although he's brilliant on the power vision and all these units. Uh, when it comes to computer stuff, he's not that he would he would tell <laughs> it's you. It's true. It's true. I'm not. I'm so not. he teaches you exactly how to do it from his standpoint so you guys can understand it as bikers and not, you know, some massive computer geeks. He can show you how to do it, how to get it loaded, the firmware. Then we go out to the bike. We show you how to install the wideband O2, O2 sensors, sensors in right. the bungs. We walk you step by step through that. Then what? What do we do next? Then we actually install the mount on the handlebars. Correct. And then we fire the uh, power. We wired it. We wired we, under we the did. tank. We yep. we show you how to do all that. You'll see all the wiring. You'll see the connection to the bike and where we connect it to the bike to get power for the power vision. Awesome. You'll see the connection to the um, O2 sensors, the Y splitter that we got. Um, we talk about the kit that you need. We get it mounted to the bike. We fire it up. We load a map. Uh, we set up some gauges and we do an auto tune session. We load a custom tune based on the auto tune session that we did. Uh, and then you're off and riding. Yep. Yeah, we did. And so what you'll get as a day-to-day -day biker, I'll tell you, is exactly what he said. Once it's all up, it's on the bars. He basically walks you step by step how to get that thing fired up, how to go, all the ins and outs in between. And then how to do a stock can map, which is the first thing you guys are going to do with the right. Power Vision is you're going to get a stock can map that DinoJet has available for you right on their website. And when you do your firmware update, it's already going to be in there listed. Yep. So basically what that means is it's going to say, you know, like yours says two into one exhaust and it says rush, I think. Right. And for probably for your air intake. The screaming eagle. The screaming eagle, eagle and it's right. called rush. And so it's a can map. It's basically saying, okay, cool. Your basic setup is this intake and this exhaust. Then from there, once you get that, you could just go with that. Right. Um, and very limited. Yeah. Um, but your bike would run much better uh, just doing that. And then if you want to, we show you how to, which we suggest is just do the simple auto-tune function. We show you how to set it up, how to get it going, how to program it, do everything. Go, And then he goes out on a ride, he brings it back, shows you how to actually send that map that the auto-tune and the corrections it's made flash your electronic control module, your stock ECM, and bam, you've just updated it. One difference real quick about the power vision compared yeah. to like the power. You read, you five, read my go, mind. Go. So if you guys, are, if you're interested in this video and hopefully that you are, one of the things that you have to understand is the power vision does not auto tune in real time while the, you're riding, while you're riding the power commander does. And we have a video for the power commander. And we do. If you're interested in the power commander and auto tuner guys, lawbindingbiker.com slash uh, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash power commander and the number five. And then if you want to add the auto tuner, lawabidingbiker.com slash auto tuner. We, those videos are really popular. Um, right. But anyways, so this for the power vision, a little bit different. The power vision is different. It collects data. 
The Power Vision acts more like what you would find in an actual dyno tune session. If you went to um, someone with a dynamometer who hooks your bike up to a computer with a little sniffer and stuffs it in the tailpipe, that's what the Power Vision is more akin to. When you ride, it collects data about what's coming in and what's going out um, and, and creates a table for that and then applies it to the map. The Power Commander 5 can actually auto-tune in real time. So that is a significant difference between the two. Um, not saying it's good or bad. It is just a difference between the two. And if you want to find out whether it's good or bad or the differences, again, just listen to our weekly podcast, Law Abiding Biker Podcast. You can get on any podcast app. We talk about a lot of this and we're going to do update, updated episodes and we're, we're deep into this, uh, have an Oscar in the studio now and then. So um, yeah, so then the auto-tune, you bring it back, you flash the ECM and that's kind of where this video is going to stop. Right. Um, but you are going to be very comfortable. Your bike's going to run better. You're not going to have headaches. You're not going to have gray hair. You're not going to be on the phone with support. You're not going to be searching for a thousand YouTube videos that tell you some, but don't tell you enough. Again, this is a project. It's been months. We've had this project in the works and we really, really are proud of this and uh, dialed it down for you guys. Additionally, as always with law abiding biker for purchase videos, anything we do in the future or updates or new things we learn, once you purchase the video, we're going to give you those for free. You'll just get an email with an updated file. Um, and uh, if we learn new information, we do that with all our videos. And I'm going to really get into this thing now that we've we've gotten this portion of it out. Mm -hmm, I'm right. really interested in data logging and I'm really interested in getting into some of the more advanced stuff. Um, and I, I really, I see a, a kind of a, an update video. Absolutely. And that'll just kind future. of be bonus. Hey, yeah, kind of for fun. If you're interested we're going to take you. So this would be a, just get the video, get it set up, chew on that and then play look. with it for a while. And then before too long, we're going to, I really see an update. Sure. Sure. I, I see getting into it. It's a lot of fun. It's cool. The data log, it'll, yep. it'll be coming. And so you guys that purchase it, will get that. And anybody future purchases will get the additional file too. So, um, yeah, you know, so we could just throw a few extra bones at you. Um, that's what we like to do as we update stuff. Don't forget to check out all our four purchase videos, lawbindingbiker.com slash buy videos. You can get right on the website. You can go to our products. Um, and we've got boom box videos and power commanders and we've got exhaust and um, oil changes cool and maintenance yeah. and yeah. Um, handlebar installs are very heated grip installs. We, you know, again, videos by bikers for bikers, because we know because we're bikers, we know that we can break it down and teach you guys. How, if we can do it in our garage and we can film it very professionally for you guys and step-by-step, step, we know that you guys can do it too. Yeah. We got a lot of success. We get a lot of good feedback. I've used some of our own videos. Yes. Yeah, there you See? go. So yeah, exactly. There you go. Very nice. So um, with that, that's basically what the video is about. That's um, it. Yeah. So we just wanted to make it very clear what it's about, what you can expect to get out of the video. Um, we guarantee, I have no doubt that watching the video and the way we put it together for you guys and, and edit it, just streamlined it, man. And uh, you won't even realize that it could be complicated. Right. But if you tried it without it, it can be because we- It is. Yeah. It is. Cause trust me, it's complicated. You got to go to different places. The, the video helps out a ton. Right. It will not be complicated with the video. It is step by step and you can stream it immediately up on purchase, just like all our videos. You, I know guys take their iPads right in their shop or their smartphones or their laptops. They set it by their bike. They Facebooked us there. They've actually sent pictures of them watching the video on their laptop next to with their bike torn apart. And that's what these videos are. They're just like a YouTube video. Make sure you have good Wi-Fi or cell signal. They stream just like YouTube. Um, you can watch them as many times as you want for life. Um, you know, once you purchase it guaranteed. Um, yeah. With that said, dude, is there anything we hit or missed on that you think they should know about the video or the power vision? I don't think so. All right, guys, we appreciate it. Uh, uh, checking in and again, don't forget, we got a lot of content for you guys on our YouTube channel, the weekly podcast going on. You can get that on iTunes on the uh, iOS side, iPhone, you can get on Stitcher radio on the Android side. It's available weekly. It's free ton of information ton of blogs just go over to the website and there's a search bar you can basically search for anything you want and get the answer so anyways guys peace out keep the rubber side down shiny side up all right guys we're if out if you're not subscribed to this youtube channel you are really missing out we have a ton of videos in the works for you guys so get subscribed also sign up for the free email club lawabidingbiker.com slash email club we will shoot you an email when we come out with new free videos also do not forget to check out that weekly podcast. It's the Law Abiding Biker Podcast. It's heard worldwide. All right, peace out.